something happening in my ear. Hello and welcome to JasonNewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. something very simple we're basically going to ask ask yourself to go to sleep ask yourself to feel tired and just observe what happens only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes if you're watching on YouTube please only watch the videos when you can safely close your eyes and please 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 please, please subscribe ask and you will receive is something that I heard years ago mind you I've heard many things away from the plug leave the dog alone stop eating my food you know lots of things I've heard over the years but ask yourself to feel tired you might not need to do that because you may already feel tired feeling tired is maybe not the issue it's what you do when you are feeling tired and I know with a lot of people it is simply the mind being a little bit too active and it's a case of just asking your mind to calm down ask your mind to calm down and this is literal Ask your mind to calm down. So you do the same process as normal. You know, uh, of course, you may not be lying down. You might not be lying down on your bed. But let's pretend you are. For the sake of the tape, for the sake of the experiment, so you're lying down on your bed, your head touches the pillow, your body naturally becomes heavy, and your mind naturally starts to slow down. So, what you can do at that juncture or that junction that point in the process and just ask yourself calm my mind down calm my mind or you could be I don't know uh, courteous Say, please calm my mind. I 
let's face it, you're asking, you're asking your mind to calm down. I was getting so tired when I do these recordings. My mind is calming down. I think. So being polite, of course you don't need to be polite, but if you remember one thing, what you say, if, if you think of your mind, your unconscious mind as being like a child, absorbing everything, absorbing everything, listening, always listening. a child up they'll argue in front of a child and they'll be saying horrible things that confuses a child in the same way and a, and a child takes it literal and your mind also takes things literally when you say it yourself So on a positive note of that would be I sleep really well. I really feel relaxed when I listen to this this Jason from England on a podcast. It, when I hear his voice I feel relaxed naturally. And the chitty chatter in my brain just slows down. Conscious mind hears that and believes it. That's kind of the most simplest way to explain how hypnosis works. If you think of your mind, you've got your adult mind, which is this me talking. I'm not pretending to be an adult, I'm just saying. And then there's the unconscious mind. So if I say to myself, oh, I'm never going to be able to do this. My unconscious mind is there, the little child listening, taking that as a command. Oh, we're never going to be able to do this. And not realising that the unconscious mind has got much more power than the conscious mind. all of those automatic functions those automatic things that we do are processed by the unconscious mind so be polite <laughs> to the unconscious mind when you ask your mind calm down ask your mind please calm my mind please calm my mind and you don't have to say dear unconscious mind because this is a part of you this isn't a separate part, this is you. And I understand it's weird, but just it's no different from your toes. And your nose are all part of your body. Even though they're one end of each other, one's the other side. One's at the top, one's at the bottom. They don't look like each other. Mind you, my nose might look a bit like a big thumb. Oh, big toe. Please calm my mind. Please. 
session to an end. 